Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Frog Designs podcast. My name is Marie. I'm going to be your host today. And this is my mom. Yes, I'm Patricia. Um, that's the first time that she's on a podcast. Yes, I'm a little nervous. Hope Are we all? Don't show too much. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, today is Wednesday, December the 7th. And it's been, I think, about three weeks since the last time that I recorded because I was pretty much traveling the whole time. And then, um, yeah, I was um, I knitted a little couple of things for Christmas. So I can't show you all of them because some of the recipients are in the room. <laughs> so, um, but, um, yes. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, we're going to start with the things that we're working on right now. Um... I'm working on socks. It's um, a German sock gar yarn. I don't know the brand. I I forgot because I, I always store it for so long time and then I forget. Um, yeah, but it's pretty. Brand. It's pink. Yeah, it's uh, actually the second. Woo! Almost one. done. The first one is finished. And yep. this is what I'm knit knitting on when I'm on the go because I travel a lot and... Um, yeah, so that's what always I do. handy to have a train small knitting yeah. sock, part, sock project. Yeah, who is it for? Um, I don't know yet, but it seems that it will fit um, your, your so my <laughs> myself, or maybe um, it's better for my older daughter. She she likes pink, so that's yes. good. Hopefully, we all like pink. pink. Yeah, um, she will like it. Yeah, I'm also knitting on. Oh, do you have any more? Um, works in progress that you want to show? Mm. Yes, um, I nearly finished the Sonnensegel. It's a huge Ulrike Altrogge. It's a huge, huge shawl. It's yeah, it's and, impossible um, to show on the camera, but yeah, it's huge. It's huge. So and on this small end, I like to add a tassel, which I will. Do with the clover tassel maker that's here. Have you tried it before? No. <laughs> okay. But there's a lot of videos out, so hopefully yeah. I will get it. Normally the instructions are very good from clover, so I really love to work with products from clover. So I will give it a go yeah. for this. So and this is made out of um, crazy zauber ball. This is what is left. <laughs> And oh, very close. also drops kid mm -hmm. silk. That's really fluffy, by the way. Yeah. That's and I needed one skein of this crazy zauberball and two skeins of this kid silk. But it's only twenty-five grams, right? So it's yeah, yeah. It's so so yeah. all in all, it's um, like one hundred fifty gram, because yeah. um, the zauberball is a hundred gram. Yeah. Skin. So yeah, good. it's pretty yeah. nice and, and it's lightweight and yet big, so that's and good. it's soft and oh, <laughs> good for this cold weather outside. So yeah. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, I like the colors too. Thank you. They match pretty much everything you own, so that's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm also working on socks. Um, I have, I actually have three pairs of socks in the making right now. So the first pair, um, well, it's, I'm not even sure if you can call it a project, but it's um, I used leftovers uh, from some some socks that I knitted, I think last month, um, to make baby socks for a friend of mine who's expecting a baby. Um, so yeah, I just started the second one, but this is a very quick, quick and easy project. Um, I hope she likes them. So um, yeah, that's my first project. The second one is a pair of um, socks. I'm not sure who they are four because they are huge <laughs> i think they're two i think i might have to frog uh, the toe and then yeah, um geez. yeah maybe make them like an inch or two smaller we'll see yeah. but i don't know who they are for yet so uh because i don't need any more socks i have like probably like 30 pairs of socks yeah it's good yeah. for oh, men it socks so it's a nice man yeah color. so and i'm pretty much like almost done with the foot of the second sock so now I have to decide like how long I want to, the foot to be and then I start the toe eventually. And um, these are all opal yarn. Um, and the third pair of socks, I started these yesterday. Um, and I received this yarn um, 
It's also Opal German Sakyan, but I received it in the Fiverr Share package that I participated in, I think, last month. And this is from Japan, so it's from a Japanese designer, and I really, really like the colors. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they are like greenish, and there's some pink, and some white, and some blue even in there. So it's very pretty. So um, I only just, um, yeah, I started the cuff, so. And it matches. Yes, it matches yeah. my, uh, my little DPN holder. So yay. Um, but yes, these are really fun to knit and I always like to knit socks like when I'm traveling because it's a very small project and yeah, super easy to carry. Yep. Do you yes. want to show some finished updates? Oh, you have one more work in progress. A big one. Oh, I know. Oh, yes, yeah. that's right. Uh, we were in Houston in October and um, there was the International Quilt Festival. And uh, I purchased a, a quilt pattern. It's called Lloyd and Lola by Elizabeth uh, Hartman. Hartman. Mm -hmm. And it's so cute. It's super cute llamas. So um, yes, my mom started making the quilt using the pattern. So. And it's so adorable. Oh my God, I want to make one right away. It, it took me <laughs> two weekends to do it. So two pushing retreats. So yeah, I don't know if you see the whole one. Like it's it's huge, huge, huge. Yeah. yeah. It's this is it's a pom pom a, border. And the doesn't lava. it? Yeah. It is huge, yeah. It is huge. We get it up. And there's a second yeah. pom pom border on the yeah. bottom. It's super cute. Yeah. And if you look at the face, wait, let me show you, show your face. Isn't it adorable? It's like smiling at you. I really, really yeah. like it. And what so, I like about this pattern is not only the llama, I really love it, but also this whole big space for quilting because I'm a long arm quilter and I'm really looking forward to do just something special with it and maybe I will show it in Paris. We have our next show in Paris in February and I hope that I will have finished that one to yeah. show it at our booth from yeah. Handy Quilter. It's so cute! Yeah, I hope she'll give it to me afterwards. No, I'm kidding. I know she wants to keep know. it, but I'll just have to make one for myself. Yeah. And in the pattern, there's also, like, there are different sizes. There's a small quilt and a large quilt. And there's also the option to just make a pillow out of it. So then if you make a pillow, let me show it right there. Then you just have, like, the small, just the head of the llama, which I think I'll do to, um, yeah, enhance this gray couch a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, super adorable. And, um... Yeah. Yes. Any finished <clears throat> objects? Um, yes, actually. Um, <laughs> You're wearing it? Yes, I'm wearing this. This is a jacket out of um, Isaga. It's, um, Hei, it's called Heulandsgarn. Yeah. This um, is a 100% wool made in Denmark. And yeah, it's I bought like it some years soft, ago. Yeah when we were on vacation in Denmark and it's a soft one and um, yeah I, I think it took me about two or th uh, three or four no weeks no no, no the oh the yeah uh, yeah balls of yarn the balls of yeah or four or five balls of yarn so you don't need so much and yes. this is what this was my first project um, doing a stick Ooh, I so have never done this, so oh God. don't know. I I will show you. So mm. the pattern is Summer Sky from Lise Lotte Werner, and I cut it. Oh God! And you look scary. at me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you, you cut it and then you. No, I did a crochet and okay. uh, after that. I cut it so yeah. it was secure. Okay. And then I added this um, blend here. So, mm. yeah. But and yeah. I chose different um, buttons. buttons because I had not enough because it, there are like 13 yeah. buttons. So, um, but they're super pretty. Yeah. I decided, and, oh, yeah. take different, different ones. Different yeah, ones make them more interesting. Then. Yeah. And yeah. it's pretty warm and light lightweight, and I love this color. Is it scratchy, the yarn? No, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah. 
Good, yeah. Good. And I like the color. Thank you. It's good for Christmas. And I have a very small thing that I like to show you. This was from... Oh, do you remember the design? No, we worked it on. No. Oh yes, uh, Violet Craft. Violet Craft, yes. yeah. <laughs> we went to her booth at Quilt Market and there was a table and you could sit there and just do a little... Make like bear. a necklace. Necklace. And this is out of the new fabric from... Oh God, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember, but um, it's really Carolyn Friedlander. And I, I like a little like tassel. Yeah, and I tried to, to get some here in Germany, but I couldn't find it. So if you find it, it's, it's a very yeah. fast project and it's just sewn around a piece of um, cardboard and it's a fun and um, fast yeah, project. Very quick. Yeah. So maybe for your guild or something, I don't know, for your meeting with friends. So it's nice. Yeah. Or if you need a last minute knitting a uh, Christmas project, yeah. like a Christmas gift for someone and then Yes. Yeah, very easy. Yep, fun. Yes, and I'm wearing this t shirt. Yes. My so my sister so, designed the logo um a couple of years ago, I think is it? And then um yeah, the other day I decided like, oh hey, well, it would be fun to have um frog designs t shirts. So um I made uh, I had two or three t shirts made. For uh, my family and me. So um, next time I'm at a craft fair, I'm gonna wear this t shirt. Yay! Yeah, and so. she got me one, so yeah. I have to join her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then I have, have to help me at the booth. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah, I think it turned out really good. And um, yeah. yeah, and it's organic cotton too, so it's super, it's very, I think it's very soft, like the, the yeah. material is very, very good. Not not so good for this winter weather. <laughs> Another t shirt on yeah. it. It's okay. And with I a really like hand knitted cardigan on top. It's, yes. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Um, I have uh, two hats that I finished lately. Um, so the first one is a bubbly hat by Donna Smith. I made the exact same one, <laughs> I think last year, last winter. And um, my best friend, she, every time I see her, um, she doesn't live in my, uh, like we don't live in the same city right now, but every time I see her she tries to steal my head because she likes it so much. So, um, and she also knits, but she doesn't like to do like color work. So she asked me to knit the exact same hat for her for Christmas. So this is it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, it's pretty cute. It's Just cute. like the first it's one. Cute. And then today I finished a pom-pom to go on top. Yes. And every time, time I see the word pom pom, I have to think of um, Stephen West. If you have not, not seen his pom pom video yet, then you should um, check it out on YouTube. It's called Pom Pom It. It's very, very funny. And um, my mom lent me one of her pom pom makers, also by Clover for this. And it's so much easier to make a pom pom with this pom pom maker than rather than just using like some kind cardboard. Of cardboard or and a needle and then it takes hours yeah, it and takes, hours and it takes forever so takes and, and this pom pom is actually really like nice and dense and i like it fluffy yeah fluffy. it's small but fluffy mm -hmm. i like it and um the second project that i finished um it's also had this is the bray cap oops i think was designed for brooklyn tweed i'm not sure if it was jared flat who designed it Maybe. And I even used um, shelter yarn. It's um, it's it's actually pillowed. It's not scratchy at all. I was no, surprised. It isn't. It isn't. And it um like when I finished it I thought like okay like this looks like a very good size. So the nice braids. Yeah, it's a combination of uh, lace and um, and a cable. So I really like that. But um, the the yarn really grew a lot after blocking, so like I like when I washed it, I was like, okay, like this looks almost like a jumper or something. It's huge, <laughs> but um, I mean, if you, I think if you wear, it, then it's okay. Like it doesn't look too like oversized or weird. Um, but um, yes. yeah, but maybe you can add a fleece inside, so yeah. because all the holes will no, my wings will up. go through. So maybe yeah. um, it's a good idea to take some yeah. fleece and yeah, make a lining of it. And next time I use this yarn, I'm gonna um, make a um, make a, a swatch and then wash it because yeah, I think this this one grows yeah. like the yarn grows a lot more 
the other Worcester weight yarn that I've used before. That's always um, a good idea to wash it. Yes, but it takes time. Yes, I know. I have to wait for that. To, like you have to make a swatch. You have to um, probably like even using different needle sizes. Yes. Then you have to wash yes. it. Then you have to wait for it to dry. Yes, that's, that's too much. Yeah, I'm the kind of person, like, I buy a pattern at, like, 8 p.m. and then the same night I start yeah. knitting. So, yeah. But, I mean, I like the results, so it's okay. Just, yeah, I would not recommend knitting a sweater out of broken and tweed yarn without doing several swatches and washing them first. So, yeah. You wanted to show us your fabric hair. Yes. Uh, package. Um, I very convinced me to... Participate I'm, in I have the bad fiber influence show. on you. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I signed up for it, and I got a big, big parcel from oh, Latvia and um, from oh. Do you remember the name? Yeah. Um, Lollipop something. I no, think. that was the partner I sent it to. Oh, UK. okay. Sorry. Okay. Lollipop. Don't pop, yarn. Don't mind me. Gil Lollipop Girl Yarns was her name, and okay. she is actually a dyer, and she dyes the most beautiful fleece and wool and yeah so adorable i sent her a lot of stuff from germany and i got back some yeah something from Lit what? <laughs> what? Latvia? yes Latvia. and it's liga her name is liga and she sent me two skeins of this manus del uruguay fino Cool. It's a very pretty color. It's a very pretty it, color. It's it looks like more bluish on the color uh, on the on the camera, but it yeah. it's actually a very nice teal color. It's um thirty percent silk and seventy percent merino wool, and it's so yeah, very nice and fluffy. Yeah, soft and I hope for I hope it's warm. It's good for a head or a small shawl or something mm. like that. I I don't know what I will do with it, but I really love it. And she also sent um, wool from Latvia, and that's a hundred percent wool. It's a grayish blue one, and I think it um, yeah, it's very lightweight compared to to maybe Isaga yarns. So I really like that too. And then she spoiled me with a lot of small things like this lip balm. And is it also from Latvia or is it? Just yeah, it's all from Latvia. Or yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, it's in English, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, it's made in Latvia. Oh, okay. Nice. So and then hand cream, you always need hand cream. Especially in the winter time. Yeah. And this is a small loom where I can with um wool from Latvia. I can make a brush out of it. Oh, so that's make cute. my own motif. Yes, I really love that. Yeah. And a ribbon. Very Latvian ribbon. Yeah. Very classic one. Yeah, I like it. Yes. It's really pretty. Yes, it is. Yeah. And then <laughs> all these sayings like... Um, funny stickers. What do yeah, funny say? stickers. I made this for you. Please forgive me. <laughs> or I almost died making this for you. So... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that And it's, I think... Is this the one from Tiger? Yes, it's from Tiger, and we actually have a Tiger mm. store in Germany. Yeah, I think it's a. You, I think it's a originally like Swedish or Danish. Yeah, Danish. Uh, I think. Chain, yeah, I think. it's, it's, it's like Denmark. A, um, it says Denmark. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have them like somewhere abroad, like outside of Europe, but in Europe you have them pretty much all over the place. They're yeah, like but small stores that sell like home accessories and gift wrapping and funny hats and stuff like that but very yeah. cute and um very like not too like kitschy and weird not so cute. too sweet yes yeah. and it says there's a tiger shop in latvia so yeah. in riga so yeah. yeah you get it in riga too yeah. so i really nice. recommend that one yeah that oh i have one more thing to get I oh completely okay. forgot yeah okay. oh I see. Very I important. see what she's getting. Yes, Because I have a yarn cabinet, cabinet, and it's like right opposite the camera. So um, I was in Amsterdam, well, actually in the Netherlands, but uh, last week, and we also went to um, 
to Amsterdam. And obviously, if you are a knitter and if you ever find yourself in Amsterdam, you have to go to Steven and Penelope. Yeah, it's one of the cutest it. stores um, in Europe, I would say. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I haven't it's been rare. there. So. What? But you've been to Amsterdam yeah, before. Yeah, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you work there. So. Yeah. So I got this really, really cute hand dyed yarn. Um, it's like a pink with speckles. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. And it was dyed by Petra of Undercover Otter. She's what a, a nice name. Yes, I really yeah, like the name. I love otters. Um, and she's a um, she's an indie dyer based in Amsterdam. So whenever I go on a trip, I like to bring something like yarn related or fiber related that's local to the place I went. So this is perfect. Um, and it's called like the the base is called Squirm Sock. Not sure if you can read this. And um, yeah, the colorway is called Rare Exports. And I think she dyed these especially for Stephen. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I got three skeins, and they pretty much look all alike. So it's not like sometimes if you get hand dyed yarn, then you have a really hard time finding a sweater, uh, like sweaters worth quantity of like the same yarn, because they all look so very different. And they match your hair. Yes, and so they do match my really hair. Really, the color of her. Although, look at yeah. this. <laughs> matchy match. Yeah. <laughs> and I also got a. Um, this is also from the same dyer. This is like a gray, grayish colorway. I wanted to use this yarn to make the cuffs and the, um, yeah, probably the cuffs and maybe some details on the sweater because I plan to make a sweater with these. I think gray goes with everything, so mm -hmm. that's always that's a good, good idea. I think yes. it would be a nice sweater. Yeah. So, nice. um, yeah. And when I was in, uh, in the Netherlands, I visited a friend of mine um, so I visited Annette of Pink Hazelbags. I'm not sure if you're familiar with her, but she also makes very cute project bags. Yes, and um, yeah, we had a really great time together. So it was really nice to talk about like pretty much nothing but knitting and sewing for three days in a row. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then obviously when we were in Amsterdam, we both got lots of yarn. Yes. Oh yeah, that's good. Do you have anything else that you want to show? Um, Do you have any Christmas knitting going on or anything in the no. in the planning? No, not not yet. No. Okay. No. That's okay. You can also buy gifts or yeah. sew gifts or I I'm sewing something. Yeah. Secret. So, what I want to show here. Yeah, sewing is much quicker than yes, knitting. Yes, it is definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I managed to to do. Yes. Okay, I think that's it for today. Um, you can find uh, both me and my mom on Instagram. Uh, I am Frog Designs on Instagram. I am La Vie en Rose twenty four on Instagram. Yeah, and I also like I'll put some like a bar or something underneath here so you can see it, how it's uh, what it's um, how it's spelled. And then um, I also have a website and a blog um, that's frogdesigns.com or frogdesigns.de. Either one yes. works. And um, yeah, I think hopefully I'll be back next week, week with another episode. And um, yeah, until then, um, happy knitting. Yes, and happy knitting. Thank you so much for watching. It was nice to be your guest here. Yes, thank, thank you, you so for, much for being here. Thank you for inviting it's me. It's much more yeah. fun to make, yeah. make, yeah, to yeah, make a video fun. with two. So, um, yeah. And you don't have to talk the whole time. That's also good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Um, see you. Bye.